Good morning at 756. Thanks for watching. I'm Jackson Rosinski. The Kelowna Fire Department is using Fire Prevention Week to launch a campaign to get smoke alarms in more homes. It's offering a no cost smoke detector installation program for Kelowna residents. Working smoke detectors cut the risk of dying in a home fire by more than half. They also say three of five fire deaths come from a home where there are no working smoke detectors. Kelowna's fire cadets are a big part of their fire prevention program. Uh, the cadets, they learn the addresses of town, they learn the layout of our town. The cadets talk to the citizens about fire prevention. They, um, they learn teamwork, they learn community service. Very, very important things. Smoke detectors should be in every bedroom and on each level of a home. They should be tested once a month and replaced every 10 years. And a nonprofit organization in Moline received $13 million in grants from the state and federal governments. SAL Community Services announced the money will go towards sustaining and expanding services in Illinois. Managers plan to launch new programs like home visits in Rock Island County, and they plan to expand the offices in Galesburg. SAL will be one of four organizations in Illinois to test a new Smart Start Early Childhood Apprentice program. It's designed to train more child care workers. That's a look at your local news. Now here's Mariah with your local Pinpoint Forecast. Well, 757 as we head out the door and look into Muscatine this morning. A very beautiful sunrise on the way and a very cold start to your morning out there. Temperatures in the 20s. Grab that jacket as you head out the door. Wind speeds for now are staying under about five miles per hour. So fairly calm wind coming in from the north. And as you head through today, those highs are going to top out in the upper 50s for you. 59 will be our high, mostly sunny and a warmer day overall, but we are still seeing temperatures below average through today. And as you head into your evening and overnight hours, temperatures are going to fall into the mid 30s once again. Mostly clear, still a cool and cold night for you. 36 degrees as you head out the door into the beginning of your early Thursday morning. And then we are noticing warmer weather on the way by Friday, as well as your overnight lows will start to do a bit better in the forecast. Mariah, and thanks for watching. Check for updates all day long at ourquadcities.com.